what's going on guys welcome back to the channel um in today's video we're going to be reviewing a ctsv how you doing i'm shane what's your ig uh, ig is 14 blown underscore v okay cool that'll be on the the video right there and also in the description make sure you go and follow yeah the car is a 2014 ctsv uh the only modifications i've done so far it's got a cold air intake uh, it's been muffler delete with straight pipes in the back it's got a one-piece aluminum drive shaft um, otherwise bone stock rest of it's stock uh, but this one's an automatic um, they did some of them did come with manual transmissions uh, i prefer the automatic uh, I want something like you said i can get in and cruise across the country and right be exactly. shifting all the time <laughs> yeah <laughs> how much horsepower does this have um, if you want to walk I, I can a little closer to it real quick these are these come stock uh 560 at the crank wow 560 at the did crank. did not know that um of course it's you know like like all the other new cars independent rear suspension uh but yeah supposedly you can do a pulley and a, and a tune on these. You can get them up to 560, 540, 560 at the rear wheels. Wow. Uh, very easy to pull power out of. So the interior of the CTSV. It's very nice, actually. Yeah, they did. They did a they did a nice job. Yo, the seats actually look like a human could fit back there. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look it doesn't look like a bag a bag seat we've actually had two adults in the back seat with us before so. okay another reason you know i thought about corvette i love the corvettes but i'm like man i want something that that's a real two-seater everybody can ride in. Yeah. I, got, I got kids and so when i started looking and doing my research i found out like i said that cadillac did this and mm -hmm. i told the wife i said i think this is the one for us correct me if i'm wrong but these are four piston brakes in the back in the rear Yep. And then in the front, we have six piston. Yep. Yes, sir. And notice the attention to detail, how Cadillac does it. You see the Cadillac logo on the uh, the, the piston there. That's really cool. Uh, I do have I do have power stop brakes on it. Um, I had, I couldn't keep the wheels clean. It, I mean, you could clean them and an hour later they were dirty. I went to the power stop brakes. Everybody complains about that and they end up going to power stops because my friend did the same thing. Yeah, I, I, very rarely clean the front wheels. I just did the front. I've got to do the back yet. Uh huh. Um, very rarely have to clean the front wheels anymore. And then the back wheels, it's nothing crazy. No. Yeah. Just uh, just some details stuff in there. <laughs> yeah. This is the trunk space, guys. It's actually a pretty big trunk. It is, and the seats fold down. I actually had uh, some eight foot LED bulbs in here the other day. Wow. Yep. Okay. I laid them up. So this is a functional sports car. <laughs> Yep. And, and and it still looks classy at the same time because I know I know at a like they're more on the classy side. Yep. The exhaust pipes right there is that stock? Those are aftermarket. Yeah. The, like you said, they did the muffler delete. Okay. And, um, I actually changed the sock tips to those. So okay, so these are um, aftermarket tips, guys. And uh, how how wide are the tires? They're 285, 35, 19. That's not bad. And I'm pretty guess, sure I'm pretty sure it's like that all the way around. Yeah. For yeah, obvious I guess reasons, yeah. The between the four door and the two door, they actually widen the back end of the two door, mm -hmm. and the wheel and tire package on the coupe are actually a little bit wider than the sedan. I see. Well, it makes sense. The more power, right? Yeah, because you yep. need you guys need to hook. Yeah. Because that'd be silly. Because um, that was the biggest problem that I had with my car. My car came stock on two forty fives. Right. Terrible. Right. Horrible. Yeah. So uh. I don't even think I had those tires for three or four months. I pretty much got, I think that was my first mod. <laughs> it was an awesome car. Uh, what color is this? That is, uh, Cadillac actually had two grays like this. Um, this one is phantom gray metallic. Okay. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, the other color was a thunder gray metallic. Yeah. Uh, one had more green in it, which I think was the thunder gray. Okay. And the phantom gray metallic has a little more blue in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. this is the engine bay of the uh, the CTSV, the Cadillac CTSV. Um, Shane was saying that for the most part, when he got it, it was stock, meaning that strut tire brace came like that. 
Um, the K and N filter, uh, was, I mean, the filter that was there was switched out for the K and N filter. Is is that a correct? What yeah. you were saying? Yep. Yeah, it had a K and N on it when we bought it, and then this this cover just pops on, just covers the behemoth supercharger they've got. Wow. What size engine is this? Uh, six point two. Six point two. Okay. Yep. The like I said, the it's based off of the ZR one Corvette motor. It's a big car, uh, man. The ZR1, if I'm not mistaken, it has a 2.1 liter supercharger. This car came with a 1.9, so it's detuned a little bit. Okay. Uh, from the from the Cadillac. So. That's crazy that it comes with a strut tire brace already. So imagine when you put it on springs, it's going to feel even better. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, I, like I I don't have a strut tire brace. It does when you turn on the magnetic ride. Um, transmission, of course, has sport mode. Um, you push the button, put it, put it in competition mode. I mean, it's it's like it's on rails. Real quick, guys, um, we're going on a uh, little test drive right here. Well, test drive for me, not test drive for Shane. But uh, I was just curious to see how this feels. Probably gonna do some pulls, so I'm gonna give you guys my you know reaction on this car. So far, I really like the car, man. It's actually like the old-fashioned ratchet shifters. It's uh -huh. just oh, I see. It's just a... you guys hear that? You guys hear that engine, man? Sounds great. Yeah, feel free to do whatever you want to do. You're not going to scare me. <laughs> okay. This is um, the Recaro seating, as I was saying before, guys. Um, it feels very good. Um, when he stepped on the gas right there, uh, it it just it just went it just went forward. It didn't wiggle or anything like that, which felt amazing. Because um, sometimes, you know, um, in other cars. When you step on the when you step on the gas, the the back end can sort of dance. So it felt really good that the car just you know just got up and left. It it felt almost like well, it's funny that you said the ZR1 because um I drove an SS okay. and went and when I stepped on it, it felt similar to that. It just yeah. it, it it just went. Yeah. You know so. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, like I said, suspension on this car uh, is phenomenal. And again, when Cadillac built it, they. They got to the, this is the second gen V. When they got to the second gen V, like I said, they they just, they wanted to beat everybody. They wanted to beat Mercedes, BMW. And so the suspension is is just unbelievable. That engine sound sounds really good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got the shifters on the steering wheel, but I'm old school, so I prefer yeah using my lever. And I can't make up my mind. I catch myself doing both, mm -hmm. and mine's because I have it where I can slide edit over and, and shift it as well. But it's right. like I uh, I can't really make up on um, make up my mind which which one I like. But I do like the feel of this because it feels like you right. are. Imagine if you were road racing, a lot of a lot of curvy roads. Yeah, this would probably be much better because you have full control without having to let go of the steering wheel but of course most of what i do is just straight Spare line driving. yeah so yeah. all right guys you've seen the ctsv this is shane what let, let me know in the comments what, what you think about his car i think it's dope he has some future mods coming to the car too which i'm also excited to see this is going to be the end of this video my name is jordan this is shane i'll see you in the next video